Hi folks, today I'm going to explain Red Hat 7 and its newly added features. Officially, Red Hat 7 uh, was released in June uh, 2014 and the code, the kernel code was Mapo. You can see here, uh, one moment, cat etc red hat release. So it's uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and kernel uh, code is Mapo. So it has a few of the added advantages. So first, most important which I loved is that is internationalization. Red Hat 7 supports 22 local languages worldwide. Here is the list like Japanese, Korean, Chinese, Hindi, Gujarati. You can read it from here. So it has coding like this for HI. First two characters stand for language. Second two characters that is in um, capital, they, this belongs to country and third one that is code. So you could see here, uh, let's have example of this. All right. So this is my Red Hat 7 machine. You could see here some war and this is the timing. I'll show you how it is. Look in Red Hat 7. I have February 2018, Raviwar, Somwar, Mangalwar, Budwar, like this. So this is one of the like uh, localization you can say. So one can feel that it is my local uh, environment to work upon. So you could see like date, Somwar, February, Bara. How can I change uh, this, these settings? So you have to go to like your genome. And here in application, in application you have a system tool, in system tool you have settings. In settings, uh, once you click on setting, you will have option to change the language. So let's uh, look here, reason and language. So you have to click here. And according to your choice, as I have selected here Bharat Hindi, you can change either of like you have to click on the formats. So in formats you have like uh, UK, English, France, Doshe, United States, English and uh, these languages I don't know which these are, it may be Chinese. So I have uh, idea of Hindi, so I have selected Hindi. You can see there, there, if you are going to change any of them, so it requires a reboot. Like if I go to then here, so what it will show me, it requires a restart now. So these changes will affect it after system reboot. So this feature which I, I loved, Second uh, feature, the most important feature that is Docker or you can say OS virtualization. So three things comes to our mind when uh, when we are talking about Docker and virtualization. What is Docker and what are its advantages? And when the term Docker comes to us, two things also come uh, comes in our mind that what is virtualization, what is containerization. First, virtualization, as I have shown you, this is my virtual machine. I have hosted one, two, three machines. So my over my window machine that I'm using uh, window 10, I have hosted one Solaris machine, one Linux machine, another Linux machine. So uh, this is the feature of virtualization. So over the OS, I have multiple OS. So virtualization is OS virtualization at hardware end you can say but containerization is another virtualization or you can say advanced version of uh, virtualization at the OS level. It has some uh, uh, pretty different features both are uh, both are not um, either of them is not going to replace any any 
like virtualization is uh, providing few features and containerization is providing few features so both of them are important so term docker docker means containerization platform where we have uh, all the applications and its components for smooth running in all the environments like test environment development and production environment so what are its features it is fast enough it requires less space it is quite easy while integration third thing which i love most that is system d daemon it is after uh, like after uh, after a long research red hat uh, provided us a system d daemon and its process id is 1 in uh, previous versions of uh, linux and solaris process id 1 is used for in it in it processes so you can see here system d was developed to replace in it system so now we are utilizing system d it has more advantages with the help of system ctl or with the help of system d daemon you can start stop restart enable disable you can do everything so it is one of the great feature which i loved the most let have some example for this like uh, i want to check where system d is standing you could see here this is system d and having process id 1 right and what all things are can do with the help of system d is system ctl is the command to be executed i need to know status of any command i can execute it so it provides me a detailed description of any service it has lot many features so it is a separate chapter in red hat 7 so i'll explain it later on so we are just going to see few of the basic things like whether your configuration file has been loaded or not either it is enabled enabled means at the time of reboot your service is coming up or not if it is disabled definitely service not coming up here what is the exact status now is it active inactive in queue so it has a uh, different different options so running it should be active and running at times it can be active loaded so uh, what is the process id for this what is main process id from here you can start stop and do some uh, feature, uh, some uh, basic troubleshootings like you want to start you can start here you want to restart you can restart from here so look uh, again so it has been recently restarted so you could uh, check the time like 10 51 48 second ist i have just 3 seconds ago i have restarted it so this is system d which i love the most and definitely it is going to support docker in a more easy and advanced way so one of the most important thing which also i love that is xfs earlier it was uh, Uh, it was supporting uh, red hat but now it is default uh, default file system which has been uh, accepted by rel 7 and centos uh, what is uh, it is uh, it, this file system is for high performance and robustness and uh, extremely large file system like you can uh, have uh, file system up to 16 exabyte and uh, file size up to 8 exabyte so it is a quite huge number if we are coming to exabyte one exabyte suppose 1000 uh, uh, petabytes and so it's a huge number so i loved all these features so i want to uh, share with you all thanks thanks for watching